Hello and welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'm your host, Kip K. What is it about boys and toy cars? Or even grown men and toy cars? Could it be that you can afford an entire fleet of these with just your allowance money? Or is there something about owning a sleek and exotic car that you never really could afford and running it around the living room floor crashing into things? Well, regardless of the fascination, People love these little toy cars, and today's weekend project is for the kids. It's a rubber band powered mini car launcher. Oh, let's make it. Make Volume 20, the For Kids of All Ages issue, is where you'll find the Rubber Band Power Project by Nancy Dorsner. There's a pretty good chance you'll find everything for this project uh, around the garage. A piece of wood, some rubber bands, some screws, uh, some little rubber footies, an eye screw, a piece of plexiglass or other plastic, and of course your favorite mini toy car. The wood I'm using is 2x2 two two square, and I'll need three pieces. So I'm going to measure out three at four inches each. And don't forget to wear your safety glasses before you saw wood, and then I'll cut those three pieces out. Once you're done, you'll probably want to take some sandpaper to these three blocks to get all the splinters or sharp edges off. And then doing a little test measurement, it was kind of a tight fit with my Viper here, so what I did is took some cardboard and cut out some small cardboard shims and put those in between the two blocks, and that gave me enough room for my car to fit in. Be sure to measure the overall dimensions of your three wood blocks with the shims in place because we're going to mark and score and cut our top piece of plexiglass. After placing it over the three blocks of wood, we'll make some marks using a sharpie, uh, just really anywhere in the corners, and then we'll drill some pilot holes because we'll be running screws through those to hold that top piece in place. The project called for using finishing washers, and I thought they looked good, so I included those as well. Our top piece is done, and now it's time for the base, which is going to be three to four inches longer than the top piece. And we'll do the same thing we did with the top, laying it over the block of wood and making marks and drilling pilot holes, and this time just straight screws right through the plexiglass into the wood. The center piece of wood will also get a pilot hole because we'll be putting an eye screw right in the middle of that piece of wood. And here's a tip, use a screwdriver. It makes it easy to tighten down eye screws. And finally, a couple of more pilot holes need to be drilled on the sides of our blocks of wood. And we'll be putting in a screw, but not all the way down. You want to just put it in a little bit and leave enough out so a rubber band can fit around it. To protect the surface that you might be using the mini car launcher on, use the little rubber feet on the bottom and stick those close to the screws. Put the center block in place, and now our final step is to put a rubber band around the one screw through the eye screw and then loop it over the other screw on the other side. I also added a little stick-on foam dot on the launcher end just to protect the bumper of my precious little car. And now it's time to test out our mini car launcher, and it works pretty good. Shoots pretty straight across this garage floor, which is quite flat, and depending on how hard you pull on the launcher will determine, obviously, how fast the car goes. So that's how to make a rubber band-powered mini car launcher We'll see you next time with another weekend project.